So, in this video we're going to take the work that we've done so far about finding a rule for a particular pattern of matchsticks. And in this case we found the rule to be s is equal to 4n plus 1. And actually using that rule to make predictions or to find stuff out. So let's scroll down to the next bit. And I'm going to rewrite our rule s is equal to 4n plus 1. And put it here. s is equal to 4n plus 1. So remember, I'm not going to write it in there, but I'll show it to you in little red here. Remember there'll be a little invisible time sign between the 4 and the n. And don't forget that that's there. So what we're going to look at here is problems where we're going to use the rule that we've got and then find some information out. So for instance, find the number of matchsticks needed to make the 11th pattern. So here I'm saying I want to build the 11th pattern of this sequence of this design, and I need to know how many matchsticks will I need for that. Um, maybe I just need to check to make sure I've got enough of them, or maybe I just want to know exactly how many that I'll need to use up. So the first step for us is going to be decide whether you're finding the pattern, sorry, the number of sticks, or the pattern number. So it's really important to know whether you're looking for, in this case, S or for N. So let's read that question again. Find the number of matchsticks. Number of matchsticks. Okay, for the needed needed for a pattern, the eleventh pattern. So again, here we're looking for the number of matchsticks, and that is the S. We're looking for the S, the number of matchsticks that are needed. So the next piece of information given to us here is that it's the eleventh pattern that I want to look for. And what we talked about in that previous problem is that we use s to represent the number of matchsticks and n to represent the pattern number. So here we know that s is equal to something we've got no idea yet, we're trying to figure it out, and that n is going to be equal to 11. It's the 11th pattern. So here we want to plug in the value given to you, or plug in the value given to you into the rule. So here this is the one that's been given to us. We know that n is equal to 11. So using our rule s is equal to 4 times, I would write n, but since I know what n is, I'm going to write out the number instead, I'm going to say 11, and then plus 1 to complete the rest of the rule. So now I can actually calculate this. 4 times 11, plus 1. So 4 times 11 will get us 44, plus 1 is 45. So s is equal to 45, and this is matchsticks needed. So it's pretty straightforward. When we've been given the pattern number, so we're looking for the 11th pattern, we know that n will be equal to 11, and so we'll replace the n with an 11, and then it's 4 times 11 plus 1. So 45 sticks would be needed to build that pattern. Looking at the next problem, find the pattern number you can make with 33 matchsticks. So here, they actually want me to find the pattern number. And that is actually the n. So it's the n that I've got no idea about. And the information that they've given to us is that we have 33 matchsticks. So that's how many sticks we have to use. So now we know that s is equal to 33. So slightly different than the previous problem where we knew n, now we know s but the same process is going to happen for us. We're going to take our generic rule, s is equal to 4n plus 1, and we're going to replace what we know. So we know that s is 33, so I'm going to replace the s with a 33. So now I've got an equation here that says 33 is equal to 4 times n plus 1. So there's a few ways that we can go about actually solving this problem. And depends on what you're comfortable with in terms of uh, your algebra or not. So what I'm going to look at is two possible methods. One is using algebra, and one would be using what we might call guess and check. And you can decide which one you feel like. So to start off with, I'll show the guess and check method. So 
I want you to take a take a guess, really. What number do you think times 4 plus 1 would get us 33? So, as an example, to say if we're not really sure, I might think, oh, well, 4 times 7 is pretty big, so let's try that. Let's try n is equal to 7. So I'm going to say 4 times 7 plus 1 is equal to, well, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 1 is 29. So I'm too low. I need to guess higher. So I can try again. Let's go up 1. How about n equals 8? Let's try that one out. So 4 times 8 plus 1. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Ah! So we found it. When n is equal to 8, we'll get 33 matchsticks. So my answer for this problem then would be n equal 8. So the 8th pattern is what we'll be able to build. So looking at it from another way, if you're confident at all with algebra, or you're getting used to it, or you want to give it a go, just another way to look at this would be write out the equation, which was 33 is equal to 4 times n plus 1. Remember, that's an invisible time sign. And what I'm going to do is think about how to get n all by itself. So in this case, I see that it's 4 times n plus 1. Mm. So what I can do is think about, well, what can I do to one side of the equation over here to make n more by itself? And right now I see that there's a plus 1 hanging out there. So what happens if I minus 1? And I'll do it to each side of the equation. Because to keep the equation balanced, it's like a scale. You've got to do to one side what you'll also do on the other side. So if I minus 1, plus 1 minus 1 gets you 0. That's right. That will go away. And 33 minus 1 will get you down to 32. So 32 is now equal to 4 in. And I no longer have that plus 1 because I've done minus 1 from both sides of the equation. So the next thing for us to think about then would be, hmm, this is saying 32 is equal to 4 times n. Hmm. So how could I undo a time sign? Kind of like plus 1 and minus 1 were opposites of each other. What would be the opposite of a time zine by 4? Well, you might think that things that are opposite for times would be divide, and that's true. So actually, if I divide by 4 on each side, and I can show that by a fraction, divide by 4, divide by 4, Again, I'll do it to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. I'll notice that 4 divided by 4, they cancel out. They become just 1. So all I'll left be, be left with on that side is just the n. And 32 divided by 4, 32 divided by 4 will give us 8. So different way to do it using the algebra, but we end up with 8 is equal to n, the 8th pattern here. So again, the 8th pattern. So it doesn't matter to me which way you go about doing this. With guess and check, just try some numbers until you get the right one. Or you can try using some algebra skills um, and working your way through the problem to find out what the pattern number is. So again, to solve these problems, it's really important to figure out what you've been given and what you're looking for first so that you make sure you plug it into the right part of the formula. If you're looking for the pattern number, it's usually pretty straightforward. You won't have to use algebra. But if you're looking, sorry, if you've been given the pattern number, if you've been given the pattern number, you won't have to use the algebra, like this example, 4 times 11 plus 1. But if you've been given the number of matchsticks and you're looking for the pattern number, then you might have to do a little guess and check or a little algebra to get to your answer.